singers like Beyonce and Jasmine Sullivan and growing up all with having the same background. I mean, you're just starting out, like you said, but do you see yourself also joining the likes of singers of that caliber? Definitely. Um, I want to be as big as them um, someday, um, you know, just to be able to accomplish as many goals as they've accomplished. And it's a lot of um, big time artists that I, um, you know, just look up to and just see inspiration in them. So I definitely see myself working with them someday. My name is Brianna Bell with popculture.com and I am joined here by Kedron Bryant, singing sensation. Hi, Kedron. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. So let's jump into um, this debut album, self-titled album. So can you tell me a little bit more about this project and how long have you been working on it? So, um, yes, it's my self-titled um, EP, just a variety of songs um, that you can jam to and just vibe to whenever you want. Um, doesn't matter what day it is. Um, so it's just it's featuring my sister. Um, it's featuring Curly J. Um, and also um, we're going to be doing a lot of other things with the songs as well. Um, music videos and more so y'all can stay tuned for that um mainly the vibe is just like r&b pop vibe um it's just you know just to get you in the mood and you mentioned you know your sister is on the album how yeah. does this work out with this sibling relationship and also working together it is definitely an amazing experience working with my sister we love singing together so um it's just another opportunity to have some fun with so now that we are going into this R&B and pop sound, I mean, how do you feel with that? Is it like you found your your niche? Like you feel really comfortable with this now? I think I'm still um, searching. I'm still um, trying out things, still growing in my gift. Um, and so I want to try different things out to see um, which really best fits me. And, um, you know, seeing how my supporters and fans um, take everything that I put out there. So also with that, you know, you started out with I Just Want to Live and that became huge. I mean, it was a big social justice moment, especially after George Floyd and everything. I mean, people were really paying attention to that. Do you see yourself adding more social justice themed music into your works going forward? Um, definitely. Um, I'm actually working on a documentary with um, uh, uh, author and a writer, um, Kevin Powell. So you have to stay tuned for that. Um, and it's, it's definitely social justice. Um, it's talking about social justice and, um, black empowerment. And so it's it, and I'm also featured on, um, the documentary. So stay tuned. And with that, I mean, people were, people were looking to you as, a major figure of social justice at the time when you dropped that. And you were still like, you're still so young. Even when that was first came out, you were still so young. I mean, does it ever feel heavy having all of these eyes looking to you for some sort of answer? Uh, I think I handled it pretty well at first. Um, I will say that it was kind of getting a, a little busy um, sometimes or heavy, um, as you can say, but um, I think I was just prepared for it and I just had to prepare myself for it. Um, just to, you know, God ask God that um he can just give me strength um and that I won't give up through the journey. And I mean, you drop the song, you instantly go viral. It's mm -hmm. like a complete change, just so mm -hmm. fast. And then you're signing a record deal. I mean, how has the adjustment been for you? getting ready for this, this big time life. Yeah. So it's definitely been a great adjustment. Um, it's, it's always been my dream since I was a little kid and I always just love singing, love blessing people, um, with my gifts. So, um, it's just coming to life and it's not stopping here. I want to keep growing and, um, keep succeeding. So it's been, it's just been a great music journey so far. Now, I've read that you grew up singing in the church. And with that, I mean, there's this 
kind of conversation going on online um, started by Tidra Moses. And she mentioned that she wished there were more singers that had a church background when she listens to mainstream music. As someone who grew up singing in the church, what do you feel like that added for your gift and being able to grow your vocal abilities now? I think that it definitely played a big role um, because I feel like gospel music is one of the top, I want to say this, all real singers, if you know them and performers, um, like Jasmine Sullivan, um, Beyonce, they they all grew up in church, um, singing in church. Um, and so I feel like those big time legends um, have listened and have went to church. Um, and I and I myself, um, as just a rookie artist, just coming in um, the industry, I think that gospel music and growing up in church has really sets the foundation for me. And um, since being in this industry, going to R&B music, um, I think people always realize like, 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 did you start singing in church? Because I guess they can hear it um, when I sing. So um, definitely gospel music in church has definitely played a big role because my dad and my mom are both um, ministers and they're pastors. So yes, it's definitely played a big role. Now you mentioned singers like Beyonce and Jasmine Sullivan and growing up all having the same background. I mean, you're just starting out, like you said, but do you see yourself also joining the likes of singers of that caliber? Definitely. Um, I want to be as big as them um, someday, um, you know, just to be able to accomplish as many goals as they've accomplished. And it's a lot of um, big time artists that I, um, you know, just look up to and just see inspiration in them. So I definitely see myself working with them someday. Who are some of your inspirations? Um, I would say Usher, um, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, um, John Legend, um, Jasmine Sullivan, Beyonce, um, Dr. Dre. It's, it's, it's a long list. So with this um, debut project, I mean, where do you think it could be placed amongst the popular music that's out now? I mean, we could see it ranked, in my opinion, I've seen some of the stuff that's um, that you've been posting on Instagram. I think it could be up there. I mean, mainstream top 10. We're going to speak it into existence. It could, Definitely, be, yes. it could be right up there with the best of them. Yes. So um, <laughs> I, I I think that it could fall into, you know, um, a lot of places, I'm, I'm really hoping that it falls into the mainstream um, pop music and R&B wave music, um, you know, soul music and a lot of other um, places. So I'm I'm really having a lot of hope in, in these songs. As you're still exploring and figuring out the, the, the sound that you wanna to continue to put forth, I mean, what have you really learned and, and been able to appreciate just from spending time working on these these different genres? I've really, well, this is my main thing. I just love to um, first give thanks um, because I never want to just go over my head and get a big head and just not be humble anymore. So um, I process, you know, just, I just try to keep, my courage, never give up, um, keep fighting because it's not easy at all, um, especially being my age and I still have a lot of other stuff um, on my plate. So it's definitely um, a lot of work, but I always just try to stay positive, um, you know, trusting God because he'll bring me out of anything. Um, and so I'm just, I, I just try to, um, just keep a positive mindset, basically. So what do you typically like to do for fun? I mean, this album really just feels like it's, it encapsulates these teenage years and going outside and hanging out with friends and talking to girls and riding around in cars and doing whatever. What is a fun day for Keegan Bryant? A fun day for me is I love um, to drive my golf cart 
around the neighborhood and um, hang out with my friends. Um, a golf cart? <laughs> Wait, sorry, yeah. you're one of the luckiest kids in the world to get a yeah. golf cart. I cannot tell you how many times I begged my parents for one. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, because we live in a golf course community, so it's like mainly it's normal to have a golf cart around here and then we just ride around. Um, and also I like to go to the pool um, in the summertime cause it's freezing in Florida right now. But um, I like to play video games. Um, and- Are you a 2K fan? Um, I don't really, I, I play 2K with my dad sometimes, but my main, game that I play is GTA. Um, so that's <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite of all of them. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kedron, for joining mm -hmm. us at Pop Culture today. Um, we will have... definitely, we will definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for the album. And thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you for having me.